All right, here we are on a beautiful Sunday morning in March in Scottsdale. We're playing at the McDowell Mountain Golf Course this morning. Hole number one, and Josh is getting ready to tee off. This is, how far is this, Josh? This is like a 380 par 4 to get us started. What a beautiful lush green golf course that we got to play today. All right, let's see how Josh does on his drive this morning. I think that'll work. He's probably going to be happy with that one. All right. Well, come along with us as we play the uh, the course today. All right, guys. Let's see if Barbara can do something here. I think that'll work pretty nice. Good shot. Okay. Let's see how Josh does on his second shot. He liked his first one. Oh, just to the left of the green up there. This is kind of cute. I have some little deer out here. Makes it look like we're on a little bit of a rustic golf course. Ooh, man, I'm glad we both made it over that wash area. elevated course up here. Here we are at hole number two. Josh is playing from the golds today, so it looks like that's 331 yards. So the last hole, we didn't really warm up, so we Ended up taking a couple extra putts there. So, words of advice, make sure you uh, warm up on the putting green beforehand so you know how the, the greens are rolling. All right, Josh, let's see how you do. Well, it sounded good. I think it landed in that uh, wide part of the green down there. Second shot for Josh. It's about 76 yards over this bunker to get to the green. Let's see how he does. He's up, he's over. Ooh. About 10, 12 feet. Not bad, Josh. That'll do. Okay, here we are at hole number three. This is a 207 par three. Josh has moved to the black tees this time. While we wait for those guys up there to get off the green. Kind of a little view of the McDowell Mountains in the background. So, the iconic mountains that this course is named after. All right, I think Josh is ready, so let's see how close he can get to the green up there. I don't know, maybe you think he should go for a hole in one? Ooh, just to the right. 
and I think it'll play okay. That was not the most well struck ball out there. Well, we can't strike them all well. Here we are. Josh is going for par on this one. Let's see how he does. Come on, little Bolly, get there, get there, get there. Oh, oh, an inch away. Darn. Here we are on hole number four. This is a long par five, 575 yards from the blacks. So we got a ways to go. Found a good Josh, but I'm sorry I didn't see where it went. Awesome, great shot. Bad drive for Josh. Got about 200, and 200 yards to go. Boy, look at this grass, isn't this beautiful? Whoa, Josh, that was a fantastic shot. Better call four on that one. Good drop shot, wow, I'm impressed. We're on the green. Recorded, but I uh, ended up being a bit short on that second shot in the sand. I wound up here on the green, so I got a nice birdie putt. Let's see if I can. All right, birdie. he's going for birdie, guys. Let's see what how close he can get. Could have gotten a little closer for myself, be a bit easier, but. Uphill, uphill, it's going. And, oh, and he leaves it short. Good line, just not enough power. Darn. All right, well, put it in for par. Oh, and he missed it. So we're now on part, our hole number five. It's a par four. It's a big 90 degree dog leg left, which if you can look out just that way there, you can just make out the green. Now I'm gonna be trying to cut the corner a bit here. So then you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Just make sure I can make good contact here and hopefully hit it where I'm trying to. Me, I'm gonna head straight out. There's no way I can cut that corner. That could work nicely, boys and girls. I think he uh, he achieved his objective there. All right, we'll get up there and see what happened. Get quite as close as he wanted, but he did clear all the crap there. And now he's on uh, his second shot for this par four. Up and over. Oops, just a little too far. But he's still on the green. Second shot on the green, so he still has an opportunity for a birdie on this hole. All right, Josh is going to set up for birdie here. Yeah, it went a little bit too long on that chip, but you know, we got a birdie putt. Let's see how close I can get this. Ooh, ooh, oh, just long. Didn't quite cut as much as you thought it was going to. Not quite. We end up getting on that last one. So I got a par, you know, it's, uh, as Garrett Clark would say, not ideal, but you know, play with what the cards give you. Cut the corner, had a good drive, but didn't quite cut it enough. And then uh, on the putt, left it, you know, a little too long, a little too much power on that downhill. But then, you know, made it for the par, so not too bad. It definitely could have been better. How'd you do? Well, I ended up, uh, my second shot was just long, and then I ended up getting, um, didn't I three putt that one? No, two putts. Two putts. I got a two two putts on that. 
So unfortunately, I ended up with a bogey. It was downhill and uh, cut a little bit more than I thought it was going to. All right, so this one, Josh, I think this looks pretty straight out there, huh? Yeah. It's a nice straight hole. Unfortunately, this... the players in front of us have slowed down a bit, so we're going to have to hold up here for a couple minutes while they uh, move forward. It's the favorite part of the golf game, waiting for the group ahead of you to finish. Uh, look at that poor cactus there. It's got a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got a golf ball just impaled in it. I don't know how someone hit that poor cactus, but they did. That's so, the challenge with some of these big saguaros that are on these golf courses here is, uh, you know, there's some people that like to try to hit them because they think it's funny, but, um, you know. How would you like to be a cactus and get hit by golf balls? A lot of people don't realize, but uh, that saguaro you see right there is well over 100 years old. If you see the arms on it, normally they don't start growing their first arm until they're about 50 to 75 years old. And then it takes anywhere from 10 to 25 years for additional arms. So as you see, it's got three little arms on it. So it tells us it's at least 100 to 125 years old. Is it? Okay. Getting ready to tee off from hole number six. And we're kind of on the top of the hill here. So that is the uh, the canal right there in front of us. Um, and then over on the other side of the canal, you can see all of Scottsdale. There's uh, McDo uh, sorry, Camelback. And then I don't know if you can see way out there, but that tall building is uh, the Talking Stick Resort hotel and casino and we'll pan all the way around ignore those ugly power lines got the McDowell Mountains here and we got Josh and then you have Josh ready to tee off all right show us how it's done Josh careful for that cart lady she seems to be coming up the side there Well, faded a little to the left. So that should play okay. Well, playing off that hill there, and by fading to the left, she means I started at left and then had a slight fade to it to bring it back to the fairway. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, as you can see, Josh had a pretty good drive. Left himself with about a 45 Put chip shot up to the green. Me? My second shot went off way to the left there. Ooh, that hill, uh, a little bit more of a, of a hill than we thought there. Still on the green, about but 10 feet, but if I flew it another six inches, would have been very close. But Next time. It next time green with josh he's going for birdie putt let's see how he does oh darn that's your third one in a row josh that you missed by inches for birdie yeah you think i fixed my aim yeah well, at least you got a par on that one. At least. All right. Where are we at? Uh, hole number seven. Hole number seven, and what do we got here? I think it's about 450. Uh, something like that. 424. 424. Looks pretty straight out there. Nothing. Uh, yeah. Kind of a couple of uh, bunkers off to the right, so I guess we want to stay away from those. We do. Sounded good, looked good. Over the bunker. Over the bunker, awesome. Well, that's what we wanted. Nice drive. Thank you. 
found myself right here, about uh, 110 from the pin. See if I can't put her nice and close. Well, you're on the green, yeah, so that's good. Left about 12, 15 feet, but gives me a shot for birdie. So I will take it. Okay, here we are on the green. Josh is going for another birdie putt. Let's see how he does this time. Oh, just wide. Oh darn, I think he's have to settle for another par on this one, Josh. Yep. There you go. Nice putt. Uh, didn't quite play What'd you do that. wrong on that one? I didn't quite play this hill right here right, so, you know, left it a little wide. Thought it'd break a little less than it did, but that's how it goes. The game of golf. Exactly. Some, it's just inches, right? Always just inches. Okay, here we are at hole number eight. This is a 191 yard par three. 197 from here. 197, okay. All right, what's your strategy here, Josh? Uh, hit a good ball on the green. Ideally, a hole in one would be nice, but as close as I can to make at least a birdie, if not a par. It looks like they got um, some bunkers on the on the right and the left that we uh, looks like we probably want to avoid those, huh? That is true. We do want to avoid those. Okay, let's see how he does. Ooh, he didn't avoid the bunker. I, I told him to the avoid the bunker. He didn't listen to me. I didn't. Why did you not listen to me? Well, you didn't make it specific enough. You're too Atlantic. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified of all our future videos. Thanks. <laughs>